All right, so we're ready to case in the text block into the flat back case. And the first thing you've got to do, so this is completely dried, it dried overnight. And I've got to find that spine again. And I'm gonna find the bristol in, in the book cloth inside there and just fold to it. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder. And this is when it's good to have a Teflon folder because you can push and sharpen that fold right at the spine. And that's gonna make a good joint. And then find the other side of that board, I mean that uh, bristle in the spine and push and expose that. And my boards aren't very deep, so it's not a very sharp uh, transition between the joint and the spine and the board. So you can kind of see that, I think, if I rotate it a little bit, you can catch it. All right, so this is what we're gonna case in to put the tape, the text block inside so we can check it. And again, I mean, my end bands, I was talking about how they're sticking up, but I think once I get it in there, it's gonna be fine. So I'm just checking and making sure that everything's gonna fit. And then I need to make sure that I trim that first end sheet uh, before I start. So the first end sheet here needs to get trimmed a little bit shorter than the other ones so that when we case it in, it, it, you know, it's gonna get glued and it might stretch a little bit and I don't want that to accidentally overhang right here on the inside. I don't want that to accidentally glue the stretch overhang that board. So I don't think it would, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do this little trim. So on each end, open to that, that first end sheet, you just need to trim one of them. And I'm just looking for my ruler. I only have my triangle out. I don't think. Yeah, it might get in my way, so I'm gonna grab my ruler. Yeah, sometimes I misplace stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna trim off the end sheet just a little bit so you can see it's like maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And then I just do that. And you might be able to see that it's a little bit shorter than the first in, the second inch sheet. And this is gonna be the paste down. This is the part that gets pasted down. So that's why we're trimming that. So again, I'm doing the other side. Okay, so I did both of those trims. And now this is ready to go. So I'm gonna need my glue and my glue brush. Wringing out my glue, I mean my water out of the glue brush. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my book in and I want it to be seated all the way back against the spine. I wanna make sure, so I'm actually pushing the text block back into the back of the book like that. And then I'm going to put the book down and then I'm gonna open. I'm gonna take just a little dot of glue. And this is a little extra step to help you the first time you're casing something in to make sure that you don't, um, it doesn't move around. I, but it doesn't guarantee, it does not guarantee that that won't happen, that it won't slide out. But it's just a little bit of precaution uh, to try to hold the, the text block in place while you're gluing in. So again, I'm just gonna, I'm making sure, you can see that my fingers back here are making sure that the text block is pushed all the way back against the spine. And then I'm just gonna drop the cover down and just kind of push where I put that little dot of glue. And then that's gonna hold for a few minutes while I do the next step. All right, so I need two pieces of newsprint or the trash paper or uh, catalog pages. I'm gonna use catalog pages because they're right here for gluing. 
And I'm going to stick that under the first end sheet, the one that I trimmed. And then the first thing I'm going to do is glue down the flange. So I'm going to glue this down just underneath the mulberry. And you can see I'm trying to keep the glue just right underneath where that is going to go down. Then I glue that down. And now I'm going to glue the rest of the end sheet. But I want to keep this part unglued about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more than that. Where you can see my thumb sliding down, that's where it's going to stay unglued. So I don't know how clear this is going to show up on the video, but um, I'm going to start gluing. And then when I get to that little spot, about an eighth of maybe more like three sixteenths away, from the spine. I'm just kind of painting that glue on in a straight line. And if I go too close, I can always just come back with my thumb and wipe it off. But I just want to keep that line unglued. And then I'm going to glue out the rest of the end sheet. And I am holding it down a little bit to make sure I don't accidentally, accidentally pull out that that sheet, the barrier sheet that I'm gluing on top of. So then I want to pick this up, fold it out and get it out of my way. And now I'm going to push this closed. And now that, that side is cased in, although we still have to nip it or we're going to stand on it. But. So I also need wax paper. So I've got that side closed, but now I'm gonna grab my two sheets of wax paper. You just need two pieces like this. And it's gonna, I'm just gonna barely open. So you can't just open the book right now because it's glued and we've got to case it in. So it has to stay shut from here on out for another couple of hours, even after we step on it. It needs to stay closed. Don't make that mistake of opening it because it's not going to look good on the inside of the book. Let me, let me show you. I don't have one that looks like that. But right here, if you open this now, if I opened that book now, this could pop away where I glued it. You know, it's unglued and we want that to release right there. You can see kind of in there if you look. We want that to release, but we also want this area to stay down right here at the edge of the board. And if you do, if you open the book now, it's just gonna pop away and it'll never go back down and it leaves like this little bubble of air and it just looks really bad. So do not open this book again, once we put that glue on there. So to put the, the uh, wax paper in, I'm just barely lifting the book open and I'm kind of leaning down. You can't see me doing this, but I'm making sure that it's in place right where it needs to be, which is after the first end sheet that I glued down, the paste down. They can kind of stick together and I can feel that kind of happening right there. So I'm gonna just take my finger and lift that a little bit. And then I should be able to shimmy a little bit of resistance. So I'm gonna take my bone folder. So some glue must have gotten on that a little bit. I just wanna be able to make sure that that wax paper goes all the way back, all the way back to the spine. So you saw I had to kind of work and because I guess because I was talking, it kind of started to glue. Okay, so now that side is done. And now I'm going to open or turn back. So the wax paper is down against the table and it's inside the book. And now I'm going to open up to that little area that we had glued before and just pop it off. And if it peels a little bit of the paste down, I mean, not the paste down, sorry, the um, lap component, or if it you know, kind of tears the mulberry. Don't worry about that because we're getting ready to glue it down anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to put under that first end sheet, put my uh, barrier sheet, my pay, my uh, trash sheet, and then now I'm just going to glue right under the mulberry. So I can kind of glue out into the, then my glue down on the end of the brush here, kind of using the end of the sheet because I know I'm going to glue that. And I'm just getting right underneath the mulberry here and then gluing that down.
And then I'm going to come back and glue, you know, all but that 3 16 from the edge. And if you need to draw this for yourself, if you need to make a pencil mark where that line needs to be, that's fine because nobody's going to see that. Do it lightly, just in case you have a light color in sheet and you know you don't want to see it from the other side. So do it lightly if you need to do that. Kind of like we, what we did on the drum leaf to leave it unglued in that little strip. You can draw that on there if it would if it helps you. Okay. So now that's completely glued out. And so I move my trash sheet. My wax paper is waiting over there. And now I'm going to just, I'm trying to make sure that this stays 90. And I've got some glue on my fingers. So I'm going to take a second and wipe that off. And then I just want to shut the book. So I'm still kind of pushing on the text block to make sure that it's sitting all the way back. And then I just kind of push with my hand all the way down. And then I'm going to take my piece of wax paper, barely lift that front edge. And sometimes you can see that the, the second end sheet is, is kind of hanging on and sticking. So if that's the case, just kind of pull it down or you can take your bone folder. You don't want to open the book, but just kind of slide it in there and separate it. And then pull this all the way back. Okay, so now we've got to nip this. Here's the thing, if you, you've got to find something in your possession that you can put this book between. Um, I have press boards and that's what I'm going to use, but it just needs to be two boards. You can see these are like half inch plywood. Um, they're made for this process, but you, if you have lino blocks that are uncut, um, if you have just pieces of MDF, micro density fiberboard, uh, just something, it has to be hard and it needs to be really flat. Um, a book will work, but it has those edges on it and you want to be able to put your book on something flat that's not going to give at one edge. And so a book has a four edge on it that it might not be hard enough. But, you know, if you can find some books that you feel like it'll work, then do that. Um, but if you can find boards of some kind, it'll work best, even if they're not very thick. They don't have to be a half inch thick, but some kind of board. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting the book between the boards. And if you look, what I'm doing is I'm kind of overhanging the spine on the board. If you look right here, the spine is sticking out. I'm not sure that it matters so much since we're not using a nipping press, we're not gonna be squeezing it with that, uh, you know, that nipping press. So I'm not sure the pressure is going to be as much, but we are putting our body weight on it, which is probably about as much pressure as it is in the press. So I, I still want to do this step where we overhang the spine. So when I put the other board on top, you can see this sandwich and this little bit of the spine is sticking out, but the boards themselves, the boards of the book are underneath the wooden boards. Okay, so that's what you need to do. Um, but again, you know, if this is, I don't know, like I said, this is my first time having to have people do this, not in the classroom and having to go home and try to do this. And so I don't know, I'm trying my best to, uh, make this work. So that's what all I can do is this is the first time we're doing this. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So I'm going to move over to the floor. So I'm going to show what I'm doing. I'm just taking the boards and I'm going to carry them over to the floor like this. And I'm going to put them down, put the board down, and then I am going to stand on this board and it needs to be stood on for two minutes. So I'm just going to put my foot like the center of my foot, right on top and then i'm going to just i'm kind of standing next to a cabinet oops sorry standing next to a cabinet and so i'm kind of holding myself up a little bit but i want my full weight and i'm putting all you know i'm kind of crossing my foot over on top and just i'm going to stand here for two minutes i will um stop the video 
but then after that two minutes, well, I'll stop the video and I'll, I'll, I'll record for two minutes. So let me do that and then I'll come back. All right, so it's been two minutes and I'm gonna take my foot off and just pick it up again, pick up the whole situation, the whole stack of stuff. And then I'm gonna take this back to my desktop and now I'm just going to put a weight on it. So again, if you have, let me set this back up again. If you have um, a brick or whatever you've been using as your heavy weights, and even if that's books, that's fine. You just want weight on it. And in this case, I might suggest, you know, usually it's more about restrictions, but this time I think we do need to keep some weight on it. So I'm going to take two of my weights that are pretty heavy and then another like piece of weight that I have so that that is really like I can't really slide that board with, if I try to push it it's not moving. That's what I want. I want some firm weight on it. So I'm going to let that dry for a couple of hours and I will start the video again or I'll just maybe I'll make one little separate video about that. But this is how you case in uh, multi-section flat back binding and so I mean like I said guys just try your best hopefully it works it may be one of those things where it's like if <laughs> I, I just may not be able to teach this book if we continue to be out of class in the fall but we'll see hopefully that's not going to be the case but anyway I don't know how well this is going to work but fingers crossed okay uh -uh -uh. <laughs> all right all right see you next time bye